today we're going to talk about uh, what is the best online marketing strategy for 2018? Had somebody ask me yesterday, hey, I'm really excited for the new year. By the way, happy new year. <laughs> happy new year. And like I said, today I'm going to answer this uh, very pressing question. What is the best online marketing strategy for 2018? I'm going to basically lay out for you a very simple three-step marketing plan. This is the digital marketing strategy that has built my entire business. It's how I've generated tens of thousands of leads online. It's how I enrolled over a thousand people into one of my opportunities. It's how I became the three-time top earner in one of my companies. Um, it's how I've done well over a million dollars in sales. Uh, it's how I've been recognized and been able to speak on stages across the country. Uh, so I'm not telling you that to brag. I'm simply telling you that so that you understand how powerful this simple three-step formula is and why you should listen. So we're going to dive right in, and uh, if you've never attended one of these before, let me take a minute and just tell you, I call these little videos Gems from the Gym, and uh, that's why I'm in like my gym clothes. I do them right when I get home from the gym, and that's actually going to be one of the tips that I give you. It's not one of the three steps. I'll tell you the three steps in a minute, but one of the best tips I can give you for success in this year, in 2018, is this. You just got to do it, okay? The old Nike slogan, just do it. And this is one of the reasons why I do my gyms from the gym videos in my workout clothes. Because if I felt like, okay, I've got to go and I've got to get my, uh, I got to get a shower and I got to look nice and I got to make sure my hair doesn't look like crap. I mean, look how crappy my hair looks. If I tried to make everything perfect, I would never get around to actually implementing this three-step formula. So that's one of the best tips that I can give you before I tell you what that three-step formula is, is this just get out and do it. And I'm going to give you three quotes at the end of today's video after I tell you the three-step formula that will help you uh, to start implementing this three-step formula. So step number one of my three-step formula is pick the right audience. Congratulations, he picked you. It is very difficult, I would even argue impossible, to sell something to someone who does not already have the desire for what it is that you're offering. So you have to make sure that you're picking an audience of people who either already has the desire for what it is that you want or that you can easily trigger that desire in those people, okay? Um, and I don't have a, a ton of time in today's video to go over exactly who those people are and um, which three groups are best to target. I actually cover that inside of my free web class. If you want to attend my free web class, you can click the link that you see um, either in the post description. If you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, it should be in either the post description below or maybe somewhere on this uh, video itself. You can register for that free web class and I'll dive even deeper into this three-step formula and I'll show you which groups to target, um, which will really help you out. But the point here, guys, is this. You have to, I've, I've, said, I've said several times before, our job as marketers is not to go out and build, it's not to create desire, it's to trigger desire that already exists, okay? It's to find people who already either have the desire or go, are, are going to be likely to have the desire to consume or to purchase or use what it is that we're offering and then trigger that desire in those people. So the analogy I've used in the past is think of, finding the right audience of people, kind of like, um, you know, the energy from the sun, you can't create the energy from the sun, just like you can't create, you can't create desire in your prospects. What you can do is you can find existing energy, right? You can find that existing energy of the sun, you can direct it towards an atom bomb, and that's how scientists created the explosion of the atom bomb. Well, we can do that in our marketing by finding the right audience of people and directing their existing desire or triggering an existing desire and directing it toward our product. So step number one, figure out who you should be targeting. Step number two, and this is the step that most people miss. Most people are trying to go straight for the sale. Uh, so step number two is build a relationship with that audience of people. So what are most people trying to do? Most people are going, hey, I'm just going to go out there and I'm just going to shove my link in front of the whole wide world. Or I'm just going to go out and tell people why my, my thing is amazing and why they should buy my product, why they should join my amazing opportunity or whatever. And we've all heard it over and over again, but for some reason, none of us actually heed this advice. People buy from others they know, like, and trust. Yes, I trust you. We all agree with that, right? Yet online, 
Everybody's trying to go out and market to a bunch of strangers before they've built any relationship with them. This is why I get people on my email list, right? I and I and I give them valuable content. I do Facebook lives like the one we're doing right now where I teach and I train and I give valuable content. I get people to know who I am. And they're like, "Wow, I kind of like that guy. I like his energy. I I I feel like I can trust him. I feel like he's genuinely helping me before he tries to sell me something." That is what you have to do as well. You have to find a way to build a relationship with your audience. If you're not sure what you would say or how you would do that or what kind of content is best um, or what kind of mediums are best, once again, my free webinar will show you exactly how to do that. Feel free to click the link that you see above or below or around or on this video somewhere and register for my free web class and I'll walk you through more of this three-step formula including who the best three groups are to target and how to develop a good um, relationship building strategy through content with your audience. Is this helpful so far before I give you guys tip number three? If you're getting value out of this, would you guys tap that heart button a couple of times if you're on Facebook? If you're on YouTube, give me a thumb up. Give me some comments below on YouTube or on Facebook just to let me know that this is useful. This is helpful. I always read what you guys have to say and I appreciate seeing your comments. Any comments? My third and final tip before I give you the three quotes to really send you off into the new year is this. Make relevant offers to your audience and convert those people into sales. Now this seems obvious, right? So uh, yes, you have to make offers uh, to your audience, but don't make offers until those people know who you are, until you've built a relationship, until those people feel like they can trust you, they know you, they feel like you've got their best interest at heart, then make offers. But don't just make relevant offers. Make sure that, uh, don't make any offers. Make relevant offers. Make offers that are related to what they're actually, actually interested in. Is it relevant? And how, how do you do that? How do you make sure that your offers line up with the right audience? Well, you'll notice that in today's video, I am like the title of my video. What was the title of my video? My title, let's go back. It was, what are the best online marketing strategies for 2018, right? Well, who would that attract? It's going to attract the kind of person who would want my particular offer, right? And uh, by the way, when you attend my free web class, which I've told you about, yes, there will be an offer at the end of that web class, but there will also be a ton of free, incredibly valuable training in that 60-minute web class, whether you buy the offer or not. But I follow this three-step formula to a T. I pick the right audience. I'm, I create the title of my content, the headlines of my videos, or the headline, the subject lines of my emails to attract the right kind of person who would want my relevant offer. I build the relationship with them with high value content, and then I make relevant offers to those people, um, and then I convert those people into sales. It's how I've built my entire business, and it's how you can do it as well if you simply put in the work. So uh, feel free to read if, now guys, listen, if you're looking for some whiz bang magic button, push it and you get rich overnight, please don't register for my webinar. I can't help you. Um, if you're sick of all the hypey charlatans out there who are like, hey man, you can get rich without doing anything. That's a bunch of baloney. But if you're willing to do the work, if you're willing to, to actually implement this three-step process in 2018, I would be happy to help you do it and show you exactly how I've done it in my business, but you got to be willing to put in the work. It's not, um, it's simple, but it's not easy, right? You actually have to put in some work to do it. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. Three quotes that I think will really help you out in 2018. If you get value out of this, uh, go out and share this video and Quote one of these quotes I'm about to give you and then make a post back to this video to help other entrepreneurs, to help other business owners that you know that, uh, that you think would like to make more sales and build their business online in 2018. So quote number one is this, perfection is the enemy of progress. As I said earlier, one of the reasons I do these videos in my gym clothes right as I'm coming home from the gym is because I can just get it done. I used to uh, if you go back and look at some of my very, very earliest videos that I recorded, I would get all dressed up and I would take a shower and I would try to wear a nice shirt. And it was like this big to do. And not only did it prevent me from actually taking action most of the time, it, when I did finally get around to shooting a video, I would stop in the middle of it because I was saying, um, and I was saying, ah, and my mind would get distracted. I, oh, that wasn't perfect. I could redo it. But when I just get on and I go live like this, sure, I screw up and I say, um, and I say, ah, and it's not perfect, but 
I'm actually doing it. And just doing it by, by simply making, uh, by taking action, you're going to make progress. And progress is what you're looking for. Perfection is not. So perfection is the enemy of progress. That's quote number one that I want to leave you with. Quote number two I want to leave you with is this. Version 1.0 is infinitely better than version 0.0. I think I heard that from Brendan Bouchard. So, um, guys, you have to go out and just build something. If we build it, they will come. Is it going to be perfect the first time you do it? No, but that brings me to the third and final quote, which is this. Failures are the stepping stones to your success. So if you're looking to be perfect the first time, if you're afraid that, oh man, I'm going to go out and I'm going to create my first Facebook Live and it's going to be terrible, so I'm never going to do it at all, then you're never going to make progress. The first time I recorded a video was terrible. The first time I wrote a blog post, the first time I wrote an email, nobody clicked on it. Um, the first time I tried to make a sales pitch and uh, make a sales page, nobody bought from it. But those failures are how I learned. Failure is the greatest teacher. And those failures are going to be your stepping stones to success as long as you pick yourself back up and keep going. So, I hope that this has been helpful to you guys. I hope that it has inspired you to go out and take action in 2018. For those of you who would like my help and you would like for me to, do, to explain this three-step process in much more detail to you, be sure to click the link that you see somewhere on or around this video and register for my free upcoming web class. And I will show you the number one secret that all top earners know that allows them to attract leads online and essentially crush their competition to make their competition um, insignificant, right? So if you want to know how to do that, if you want to make your competition insignificant, if you want to become a top earner, if you want to know the secrets that top earners know, once I discovered this, guys, everything turned around in my business, and I'll show you exactly what that is on the free web class. So Guys, uh, if you got value out of today's video, share it around. Take one of those quotes I gave you. Failures are the stepping stones to success. Perfection is the enemy of progress. And what was the other one that I gave you? Oh, version 1.0 is uh, better than version 0.0. Take one of those quotes, go out and share it on Facebook, and then link back to this video. Say, hey man, I just watched this amazing video. Share it and go tell people about it with one of those quotes. And you are now providing value. You're now attracting people to you by leveraging the content that I've already created for you. So so go out and do that and um, register for my free web class. I look forward to seeing you there. And if you got value out of today's video, tap that heart button a few times. I would love to see your comments. If you're on if you're on YouTube, give me a, a like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're on, on YouTube. Make sure you like my Facebook page if you're on Facebook so that you get notified every time I go live and give you these, uh, these free trainings like this. So thank you again so much for watching today's Facebook Live, uh, for watching this video, and uh, I appreciate you. I will see you guys on the next Gems from the Gym. This is Tyson's Honor signing off saying have an amazing, amazing day. Take care. Bye.